Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 28th through July 4th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> What's up? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Pentacles, a little bit at a crossroad here, not knowing what to do about a situation. Um, in the recent past, you get the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands. Kind of stressing yourself out there a lot uh, in regards to a choice, possibly attached to a person. Um, so making the right choice. Did I do it? Did I not? Uh, should I have chosen this? Should I have chosen that? What should I have done? There's a lot of self-torture in regards to that. Um, again, in regards to choosing the right person for you. Um, in the current situation, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords, that's where your crossroads is, basically. Should you wait for something to happen or should you walk away? Um, I don't know if that's necessarily i mean it does show up as being like okay it's a simple choice but i don't i don't think that it is because you get the king of wands in the past the queen of wands in the current situation that's a power couple right there that's somebody that's um you consider to be for you basically so given that in the past you kind of tortured yourself there over the choice you made in regards to this person right now it's kind of looking like um almost like you're feeling stuck, you know, not going, not staying. Uh, in the immediate future, the Empress, the Fool, the Four of Pentacles. Now there's a clear energy of refusing to let go of someone. There's someone that's stuck in your heart, basically. There's not only the, the uh, refusal to let the, them go, it's also the action of doing something about it. So let's see what's up here, Taurus. <clears throat> Let me see the two of pentacles. <laughs> the death card, the three of cups, the two of swords. So there's definitely an energy that's coming in that's more powerful than your confusion. Now it's a matter of you choosing whether or not you're going to let that energy come through or you're going to keep on staying confused, staying stuck in this energy. Because the energy that's coming in is that of, <clears throat> it's kind of looking like it's pushing you in a direction of revisiting something or going back to someone maybe because that's an energy of reconciliation there. So there's definitely that sense of you knowing exactly what the energy is. What are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to keep yourself stressed about it? Or are you going to go for it? I don't know. There's definitely, um, the energy is strong. And I feel like it's giving you the sense that there's no alternative here. There's no choice. There's no confusion about it. It's there. The energy is there. You're feeling it. Now... The question is, what are you going to do about it? Let's do the Seven of Cups in the recent past. And this could be somebody attached to you. It doesn't have to be you. Uh, roles can be reversed. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Five of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. There's definitely a sense of regret in a choice you made. Um, and I feel like that may have been communicated to someone or the desire to communicate that to someone uh, is definitely there. I don't know. That's really up to you. If you did communicate or not, I feel like you wanted to. I don't know if that happened, but there's regret in a decision here on your part. Let me do the King of Wands. 
Whoa, the Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, the Sun. All right. This is definitely um, your happiness. This person was, is, was, because they're in your past there. Um, bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of good energy into your life, a lot of equal give and take, you know, that whole shebang of good and healing, a lot of healing. Uh, let me do that Eight of Swords. Let's go back there. So this person, by the looks of it, may have been in that choice aspect of things and he might, might have not gotten picked. I don't know. Uh, for the Eight of Swords, you get the Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. It's very interesting because the energy is very clear. And I feel like you knew that at the time of what this person brought into your life, what you wanted out of this. There's a lot of love. There's tons of love here. Um, and there's also the um, desire to build something there. Let's do the Two of Wands. In the current situation six of swords ace of pentacles the temperance card um i kind of see you stepping out of the, these whole swords two of pentacles energy where you're not decided you don't know what to do again the energy is coming in strong so it feels like it's gonna overtake whatever thoughts you're trying to make there um so i see you stepping away from that waiting mode and creating something brand new in this situation with this person. Uh, I don't see it happening right away. I see it taking time. But I see you coming out of confusion about it. Let's do the Queen of Wands in the current situation. The King of Cups, the Strength card, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles again. That's your energy of I'm not letting this go. You know, whatever happens, I'm not letting this go. Again, emotions are pouring in here. Passion, uh, love, like no tomorrow between the two of you. The king of cups, queen of cups, king of wands, queen of wands. Uh, sun. Um, all sorts of good juju here. It may have uh, won <laughs> over you, the energy. Because I see you coming out of confusion about it. Like, no, this is clear. This is what I feel. Let's do the Six of Swords. In the current energy, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. This is you taking small steps towards rebuilding that happiness or, you know, bringing it back and then putting your energy into let's make this happen. Um, but again, I see it happening over time and I see your direction your your path heading in that direction basically but small steps small steps by the looks of it let's do the empress ouch what's going on taurus for the empress in the immediate future you get the lovers the hierophant, and the page of cups again the pages pages are here to let me know yeah things are heading in that direction very little at a time you know, even though the energy is massive here, the Empress, the Lovers, the Hierophant, definitely a powerful connection here on your side. Um, and all of this is tied up to this person, whoever this person is to you. Um, somebody tattooed on your heart, you know how I say, pages signify that movement in the real world, basically, because the energy is massive between the two of you. Uh, let me clarify the full in the immediate future. <laughs> uh, Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Justice card. Yeah, somebody's taking a leap of faith here. Somebody's taking a chance to, to make things right. I feel like there's like right there before. Imagine you are at the edge of the cliff and then you're like, okay, I'm going to go for it. And then right when you have one foot up in the air, you're like, oh, no, oh. Nope, but too late, you know? Uh, so I kind of get that energy here on your part. The intention is to, to balance things out here to make things right in the situation. But there's also that... Um, hey, stop. There's also that um, self-sabotage 
here a little bit it's not as big as it used to be there's it's still there though because again it feels so powerful so intense that it's like what the hell am i doing but like last minute kind of thing you know where it's kind of too late because you already jumped for it um let's do the four of pentacles in the immediate future uh the high priestess the four of wands the queen of swords all right there is um there's a bond here there's definitely a bond now i don't know what the hell is happening in this lifetime between the two of you but in other lifetimes in other dimensions and whatever you want to call it you two have that bond almost like you're married everywhere else but here and i feel like even from that logical perspective you're starting to get that like yeah i know even when you try to put it all up in your head forget about the heart forget about the feelings forget about everything it feels like you're coming up to an understanding of yeah that's that's what it is here um and you've been hanging on to the to this understanding for quite some time you just didn't allow yourself to accept it basically uh interesting reading let's see what the universe has <laughs> patience you are gonna get there again the temperance card came over for the ace of pentacles which is basically uh, it's the beginning of this whole journey here that you're about to embark in currently you're healing there you are the emperor you're healing and you are going through massive changes massive transformations and understandings of things and this is part of whatever this is to you and it's definitely a powerful connection you have with somebody here and it's going to happen in time currently i see you healing and as i said it's small steps that show up here and there so it's not like tomorrow well, it could be tomorrow i don't know um, you're going to start to make those steps, you know, who knows when it's going to happen for now. I see you healing intensely. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.